Okay, that, so that was awesome. I was backing out trying to pull the samurai over here so I can get the Jeep out, and I hear this. I'm like, what in the hell? It sounded like one of the wheels was coming off or something. I'm like, what in the frig? So <laughs> I've had this rope on, on this door, and I've either tied it from one door to the other to hold both, both doors open, or I tie it to the bumper to hold that door open so it doesn't hit me in the ass while I'm working on stuff. <laughs> And I guess it was over here down below this wheel. And now, as I was backing up, it's... Uh, I'm just glad it doesn't look like it did any damage. So I'm going to pull forward now and uh, I'll probably get rid of that damn rope. Oh, can't close the door. What am I thinking? <laughs> Wow, I don't know if you guys remember, but this stuff was $32 at Home Depot, and this was $25. Damn, that's a well, considerably cheaper here at Harbor Freight. Might need to get some of this stuff for my brother's car soon. Uh, see, they got this. $42. And then I haven't seen this before, but... I got tons of that stuff. It's kind of cool though. This stuff's really good to have liquid if you do a lot of like 12 volt stuff on cars. Um, it's really good for like, especially if you're back east and you probe wires for diagnostics. Like after you probe the wire and put a hole in the insulation, you can just dab it with this stuff and seal it up so it doesn't, you know, get corrosion in there and stuff. Anyway. Uh, I'm not finding any female cigarette lighters here. They have the male end, but I got a bunch of those as you guys saw Well, maybe I'll run over to the auto parts store This is the same one. I already got at home I was telling him I could grind down This bracket and use it as a washer maybe So I might do that damn that's all they got. Are you freaking kidding me? $21? That's insane. These prices are crazy. God. $25? For a freaking fuse holder. One. I mean, it's sealed, but Jesus. make my own damn so we moved his cage so he would have more sunlight here buddy what you gonna do did you get manners when you got sunlight no no definitely not so here's seventeen dollars worth of uh wire and a fuse holder that I just bought um, and this is only going to be for this cigarette lighter and I'm hoping I can make mine work because the one at the store the only one they had is the exact same one and I can show you why mine won't work um, so I got it sitting in there right now but um, the ring is too Small, it'll just oh. onto the ground. Yeah, let me go around the, <laughs> that side. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, if there's anything I haven't dropped through that damn hole, I did find that penny the other day, by the way. Anyway, so you can see why this won't work. It's this is too small for this this hole, this knockout. Um, I can still use this. This ring has threads. So, so the only thing I can try to do to make this one work is use this bracket and I have to try to cut it and then, you know, sand it so that I have just a ring like this, but that goes all the way around. And then I can use that as like a, a washer and then it will work there. But that's a lot of work, man, just <laughs> for 
A stupid cigarette lighter. It just sucks that that's the only one they had. I should have probably gone to a different store. Anyways, uh, and then I bought the 12 gauge wire to hook to this because that's really what you should have. I don't think anybody's ever going to actually plug a cigarette lighter thing into it, but um, anyway, I'll, I'll come straight from the battery and go through that same grommet that we came through when we did the uh, the windshield wiper motor ground, um, if you saw that one. And then probably what I'll do is I'm going to use my own wiring um, for the deck, and for the deck you need a constant 12 volts and an ignition uh, key 12 volts, so it's pretty common to, for car alarms anyway, to tap into the ignition wiring right here, um, so that's what I'm going to do on that, and then I'll just do my own, make my own little fuse holders for that. So let's get started. So I was looking around for something round, and this kind of looks roughly like the right size. Let me let me see. Okay. All right. Let's see here. I know that's hard to see, but yeah, that is basically perfect. Sorry guys, but if you look, that's a, that's a really good size. So I'll use that to use a Sharpie to mark it, and then I can get to grinding. Okay. still work. Kinda. That might work. Alright. Got the safety squints engaged. Let's see how this works. Try not to die here. How hot are you? Fairly hot. Ooh, very hot. Can I clamp you without you burning me? Now I bet she's really hot. Is it bent? No. Okay. I should probably just wait, but I'm too impatient. Here. Let me get this guy to work. 
Yeah, that one's pretty worn down. And that is not... Too much right there, damn it. That'll have to be on the bottom. Oh, that works better than I thought. Okay, well. Man, that's a bummer, huh? It's pretty hot. Try to shine her up, maybe put that part at the bottom. Don't you love when you go to grab a plug and it looks like that? It's always nice, huh? So I grabbed the sander out of the back of the dealio. And I've got the 600 grit that I had the other day. <laughs> I'll just see if this polishes it at all. my little metal polish stuff. Alright, this is the stuff I use for aluminum. So. Alright, baby. <laughs> yeah. One side will be polished. Kind of turn this over here and show you. I'll do like when I polish my flags. Good enough, I guess. I'm not expecting anything great out of this. So. Where's the rest of the parts? I think they're in my pocket. Yep, okay. I guess I should have grabbed the tripod, but. Um, okay, so we got that, and then we want our shiny side out. This is just our little test to see if this will work. It look like crap or not. I don't know, what do you guys think from a couple feet away? Past the smell test? Yeah, I think it's good if I put the... I don't know why it looks like orangish in here. The 
reflection is not it's not what it looks like in here i guess it's me because i'm kind of orange it's reflecting me anyway uh, i think we can work with that so good enough right maybe i might polish it once or twice more Where's my knife? How am I supposed to cut something with no knife? Here's my little waterproof fuse holder. It's just Did you hear the waterproofness? Listen, I'll do it again. Ready? That's how you know it's waterproof. Anyway, put a ring terminal on one end. If you can see this, put a ring terminal on one end and uh, splice this to the other end and go through here down to the cigarette lighter. So let's get to it. Sure, you've seen this before. You just solder it on there, heat shrink it. I've got tons of videos on that, and you can actually see the the glue kind of coming out the end of the heat shrink there. On both sides, it makes it waterproof. So. And then we already demonstrated how the fuse holder is waterproof. So anyways, I'm going to shove it through that grommet. I decided to go, because of the size uh, of lug that I had, um, I'm going to go off of here. Let's see which side is outgoing. It goes from the battery, comes in on this side, so I'll uh, come out. I'll put it on top of there, and then uh, we'll go through here. So um, let me do that. So that took a while. I was just going through my junk drawer because the, the the wires that I was planning on using for those two speakers that I found the other day in this little 
their thing. They are tiny, man. These are clearly for tweeters, I think, is what they were for. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. That's that's the gauge, that, how tiny they are. Not that those speakers are anything great, but uh, they need probably bigger wire than that. So, I was going through everything. I thought for sure I would have bundles of, you know, speaker wire. Like, sometimes speakers will come with stuff like this for them. And I just thought I would have stashed some away. But the only thing I was able to find was this, which is probably long enough and definitely big enough. And then I took an extension cord, which is about the same thickness. Um, <laughs> and I cut the plug off of it. So, I got these two things that I can use for speaker wire. And that... Probably just killed at least an hour. And I was talking to my roommate and stuff, so. All right, let me get back to it. Okay, I'll try to stay out of your way. So over here on this passenger side, we've got the cable I just ran. We've also got this wire that I believe, yeah, we ran for the pin switch over here for the dome light. And then we're also going to need this speaker wire. So we'll have three wires that need to go across here. So I'm going to go ahead and get those routed and probably throw on a time lapse. So I don't know if you guys were following along, I ran this wire over and soldered. This is a really goofy thing to solder, but I soldered that center core and then you gotta ground the other part. Anyways, guess what I forgot? The deal that's in my pocket, this guy that we spent 15 minutes making. So yeah, this gets to get cut back apart and re-soldered and all reheat shrunk and everything now. So I got that soldered on there now. I need for, hopefully you guys can see this, I need this. I need to get a ground lug on there and then you always want your ground to be the same size as your power because um, it's flowing the same electricity. You always need that. Anyway, I don't know how long to make this. You don't want your ground to be any longer than you need to. So I got to pick a spot under the dash here figure out how long to make it, get it on there, because that'll need to thread on there. So let me figure that out real quick. All right, guys, I'm gonna try not to knock over the tripod while I'm doing this, but I'm just gonna feed this. This is my other end for the cigarette lighter. I'm gonna feed it in there. And then I pulled this T40 bolt out right here and this is a painted surface and the hole in this bracket was way big and i didn't want to have to use a crazy lug and sand it all down and everything so i'm going to take a self-tapping screw and ram it right into this chunk of metal right here so after that's threaded in there even though it's a painted surface all those threads will be inside the metal so the head that's you know connected it'll be a good ground trust me Okay. So let me feed that through there. And then I'll have to route it here in a minute. Get this guy up in there. And then I put a couple pieces of uh, heat shrink on it because it is a red wire. I guess I should have used a third piece. <laughs> so you couldn't see any red, but I don't. I could put some black tape on it or something. It's no big deal. Alright. So now, somehow, I'll have to... So that's this wire that needs to go on here. 
but I can't do that until after I thread this onto here. So, yeah. Kind of like a little jigsaw puzzle. And I can't spin this one because then it'll spin the entire wire. <laughs> so, I'm trying to thread it, hopefully. And then I gotta remember to get my ugly side down up here. Wait, there isn't a pretty side. Close enough. <laughs> and of course, with it tight, it's on the far side where I can't even see it. Great. Damn it. And then this will just be excess. So I'll coil up and zip tie or something. Alright, hopefully I can finagle this. Steal my way on there. Shit. Is this not tight? Oh, it is. It just has a... Yeah. Okay. I think I feel it. I think I feel it. Okay. I think it might be in there. Do I dare grab a cigarette plug and throw a fuse in that bad boy? Let's try it. Well, let's see, uh, grab this 10 amp fuse here. It's about what you want for 12 gauge wire. Come on, make your little noise. Okay, I heard the noise. So, let's go check it. I'm a little concerned because the one I just grabbed, the only one that I have, the only cigarette lighter, and it's way down in my cargo pants. Okay, I found it. Um, that was the only one I could find, and when I plugged it into my Jeep, it has two of these power sockets. I couldn't get it to light up green, so I don't know if, whoop, I don't know if it'll, oh, it does actually light up green if you get it in the right spot. Huh, okay. So, cool. Can you guys see that it's green? I can't see it on the camera. That is weird. Oh, there you can see it. Okay, so we're working. Cool. And it doesn't look terrible. I don't know why it looks orange on camera. Here it just looks like chrome. Alright, moving on. Now that we've got a cigarette lighter, I can use my handy dandy little uh, SST tool. So let me plug, oh, sorry, let me plug that guy in. And it lights up. Okay. And you can go online and um, find references for, gosh, I think you just look up uh, like 1987 Suzuki Samurai remote start wire colors and you'll find Lots of different references with colors for, um, you know, different things. It'll bring up everything. Like, there's so much to a remote start. Um, you got all your ignitions and stuff, and you got your brake wire, and your, on, even on a normal one, you have parking lights, and then door triggers, and with remote start on newer ones, you have to have, um, what the hell are they called? bypass modules that trick the computer into thinking that the key's there and all kinds of stuff so anyway there's not much here there's you're gonna have constant power um a starter and ignition and usually there's multiple ignitions so i would look it up but in the interest of time i'll just touch them there and it'll be quicker just identified ourselves so i'm gonna put the key in the ignition that is off so we'll try the white one I think if I'm yeah white is gonna be our hot all the time I believe and I think I just remember that one and then black with yellow is that our start wire let's see 
I'm just touching it where they're soldered on so I don't have to poke holes. So I'll tell you what the wire colors are as I'm doing it. Maybe I will poke the damn wire. So that's black with yellow. I'm going to turn the ignition. Okay, that is start. So. Okay, and then all we have left is black with white and white with black. So black with white. We got a ground on it right now. It's red and that's hot through crank. So our black with white is going to be our ignition wire. All right, guys, I got the soldering iron out. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to go ahead and land this ground wire under that screw that I did for the uh, cigarette lighter. Okay. Where's my drill? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you see? Yep, you can see it. Okay. Maybe I should just use a screwdriver. Self tappers never want to go. Okay, there's one, two. We gotta kind of stagger them. Okay. I did the same thing for the ground for this. I just used that other 18 gauge wire and doubled it up. So. You can call me ghetto if you want. I know it ain't right, but it's copper, it's wire, it's black. Not that the color matters, but uh, it'll work just fine. Um, okay, and then I think I said, I already forgot, damn it. I think I said white was our constant, right? So I will just, a lot of times I'll just, Pinch it and kind of rock it back and forth and then go down like a quarter inch do the same thing and then I will take my alpha or whatever and cut it right down the middle to make like a little deal like that that's pretty easy right and I put a knot in the one that I said I was gonna do for constant power so let me strip that guy back. These are way longer than they need to be, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. And then I will wrap it. Oh, and I still got to put fuses on. Damn it. I forgot about the fuses. Okay, but that's what I do every, whenever I do alarm stuff. Hopefully this is heated up by now. We'll find out right now. Hopefully this is ready to go now. Yeah, it's hot. So anyway, you can get these super cheap, these little soldering irons. I used to have a really good one that had like a trigger on it and you pull it, it got hot so fast. And it would only heat up whenever you pulled the trigger. That was really nice. And when it broke, I was like, oh, I'll just get another one. They're, they're like 70 bucks. I was like, nope. I'll just use this and, and my torch. Of course, you can see it doesn't work nearly as good. Maybe this wasn't completely hot yet either. I don't know. The whole thing hot you could touch the solder anywhere and it would suck it in damn this one's kind of garbage but maybe it'll get hotter we'll see i'm gonna shove it up in there out of the way but i do want it accessible if anybody blows one it'll probably be us 
trying to wire it up. So. Um, okay. And then you got these wires that I meant to rip these out. Okay, there's the old ground, the old level ignition. I think they tapped into like fuse block or something. I don't know where they tapped in for those, but I will get rid of those at some point. Probably already should have, but okay. All right. All right, guys. Um, I'm not sure hope you can see this. So for wiring up a deck, um, like I told you before, all we're going to use is these three, constant, ground, and ignition. And then just the two front speaker wires, which are the whites and the grays. So I'm going to fold these back since we're not using them. Okay, guys, so this is what we're left with. After I got done, I just folded, kind of like I folded back on themselves here. I did the same thing on that end, so we just have our two plugs. Um, so I'm going to test it before I put the can in there. Um, hopefully they only go one direction. Yeah, it looks like that one goes that way, that one goes that way. I think I said in another video, the reason why you have a constant power and an ignition power, the constant power retains your, um, like your clock and your uh, presets if you have presets. So let me turn the ignition on there. I don't have to see how this Anyway, it's working. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Oh, we didn't plug in the damn antenna. That's why we're not getting any stations. I think that's Bluetooth. Auxiliary. Tuner, okay. find something. I don't want to get like a copyright infringement, but these mobiles are pretty fast. I've always gotten tons of UTIs. Cranberry products never work. It is for working. Me, and I was so So now it's all good to go. We just slide it in until it clicks, I guess. I assume it should click. Let's see. Did you click? No, it didn't click. Of course it didn't click. Why would it click? But it's in there. It's not, I can't pull it back out. It just didn't give me a click. So, so we got orange up here, obviously. So. I'll probably try to get that to go orange, and then that's probably all I'll do to it, because I don't even, I'll probably never listen to it, I just really wanted to fill that gap. So, anyways guys, I think that's going to do it for this one, we got everything we wanted to accomplish. Um, got the cigarette lighter in and working, don't know why my phone's wigging out right now. Um, I guess the lights. Got the deck in with the speakers hooked up, and the cigarette lighter, so... Um, yeah, it took a little longer than I wanted. It's, it's totally dark out, but I had other stuff going on too, so. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully I'll have another one for you here real soon. Alrighty, take care.